this is Rebecca from Crafting on the Ridge and for today's pre-recorded video I used these tools to transfer these cans into unpainted vintage tin cowbells. On my next Facebook live I will actually paint these so I hope you enjoy watching how I made them. Thanks! Here's another option that I've got, and this is from our weightlifting stuff, which we don't seem to use for much weightlifting anymore. So I'm thinking I'm going to try this one. I started it here, and it looks like it might do pretty good and make it a little smoother. So I'm going to use the rubber mallet with it. It'll be loud. And as I'm hitting, I'm kind of like dragging down kind of over the lip. And what I'm trying to do is stretch. See where this groove is right here? I'm trying to open it up and stretch it. And all these little grooves is what I want to try to push out. Okay, let me keep going. Barbell thing. I'm going to try to You know what? Even though I don't have weights on this bar, I still feel like I'm getting a workout. I used this thin metal to make the six loops. I cut them a half inch wide and three inches long. Okay, I got an idea. I got some new hope and punches. Instead of getting the drill out and drilling it. Probably don't need that. Okay, which one's smaller? Let's go do this one. I'm gonna try this. What I'm gonna do is put two little holes right here. And I think I'm going to just, and then I'm gonna punch holes in this. And I'm just gonna run a wire through it. That's my thinking. Oh man. Look, I gotta get that dent out. I was hoping it wouldn't do that. I'll fix that. All right, that works, but I don't want that hole in there. All right, that did it. Okay, so now for this one. I want to, oof, oof. I go around and round it all the way. y'all do this, I recommend you wear gloves. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch two holes. I don't know if I can go through both. Well, try it. Where's the camera at? There it is. Oh, yeah. Well, it went in. I can get it out. That's a little hole. I have to get my bigger punch. I'll see if this wire goes through it. Thinking this wire. This is a 22 gauge wire. Okay. Got 50 million things coming off of it. No, no, no. Or the end. Here we go. This looks like it. Okay. I don't know how much I need. I'm just going to do this long. All right. 
Got to go into here. Now let me put the other side in. Now. Put that inside the can and I know it's long but it's long for a reason see now see where it's sticking out I'm gonna need that because I decided to put the ringer thing on it I'm just gonna go down in there and twist this on Have to pull it tight when you turn it. All right. 